Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is Chris Bad Cowie, the founder of Empowered Facts and the host of Bizgrams. I have the privilege of inviting dynamic entrepreneurs to the stage to share their wealth of knowledge around the entrepreneurial journey that they've embarked on, and also to help you get aware of some of the solutions that they are bringing to the marketplace. Today, we are super excited to have Fatima Gold with us here today. And Fatima, how are you doing this morning? I am super fantabulous. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, and it is such a wonderful day as well. You know, an opportunity to um, get up, share, and bring some hope to the community. I know that you are very passionate about bringing hope and the energy that you just gave off. I felt it over here. I'm ready. I'm, you know, I'm excited. So Fatima, tell us a little bit about your entrepreneurial journey. That's a really good question. My entrepreneurial journey started in 2007, when uh, 2015, when I decided I wanted to write a book. So I wrote this book called Over the Wall, and it's about my memoirs, my life, what it was like for me growing up in Barbados as from the time I was 18 months old to the time I was eight years old where I came back to Canada to meet my mom and I'd only seen her once. So what are the challenges of doing that? Reclimatizing myself to Canada, facing racial biases. My teenage years where I just wanted to be with people who look like me, sound like me, but I wasn't gonna make it back to Barbados because my mother isn't sending me. Then my trials and tribulations of being a single parent and then ultimately meeting and marrying the love of my life. So I decided I wanna put that into a story. And then from there I decided, okay, that could be a workshop. That could be speaking. So then I became a speaker, author, and a coach. Hey, that is powerful. And I mean, in there, I can hear you talk about some of the trials, but looking at the triumphs and the learning that has come out of that, and then being able to share that with, with others as well. So tell us about your company, your the organization that you're building, Green Curtain. So Green Curtain is a company that my husband and I are building together because he's also a musician. He's a songwriter, a singer, he plays instruments. So he wants to publish music on that end. And then for me, I'm building the awareness, self-awareness, self-love, self-hope. My motto is there's hope for anyone at any time and at any age to get you over the walls of life. So I, that's the part that I'm building by publishing the book, publishing workshops, speaking engagements, just to bring that self-love and self-awareness and hope to the world. And also my YouTube channel. Hey, Maybe. tell us a little bit about your YouTube channel. So the YouTube channel is actually a real channel. When I look at YouTube channels, you usually have one person contributing and then they give you a range of topics that they talk about relating to their brand. But for me, I found some contributors. There's 11 of us contributing to it's like a CBS, NBC, and there's different programming. So everyone has their own brand and their own product that they talk about, whether it's meditation, whether it's tapping, whether it's retreats, whether it's a um, relationship coach. There's so many of us, whether there's um, Francia who does values over vanity. So you can have a number of different people programs on the YouTube channel. So that is what we're building. And that is specifically to give people a message of hope every single day. Hey, that is so powerful and much needed in particular at a time like we are in right now, the lockdown, the forever lockdown, it seems like but you know, an objective to keep us safe and, and stuff like that. So I understand that, but as a social creature, it is it has been tough, you know? And so finding channels and opportunities to tap in for hope is so powerful. I, I really love your motto of hope for anyone at any time, at any age, and really seeing through your, your business and the ventures that you've created from your book, your speaking, your training, and now expanding into this personal development realm, you're definitely building and offering that hope to, to your clients in that way. So who would you say is your ideal client? So right now, my ideal client, because this is so near and dear to me, because I, I was one, 
is single parents, single professional parents. That's my ideal client because when I was a single professional parent, they had lots of programs for single moms. But to me, when I, when I went to apply, whether it's for subsidy or to find out about this kind of things that I could have to help myself in that situation, they told me, well, you know what? You would have to sell your house and use up all your savings. I was like, what? Yeah, because you're a professional and you make money and you have savings and unfortunately you have an asset. So we can't help you. And I was like, but yet, you know, at the end of the month, there's no money right? Because you have different things that you're managing. And I'm like, where's my support? Where's my help? And so that, that's my ideal kind. That's my focus. I want to give that person the hope. I want to give that person, you know, access to things like what you were describing that you do. If they want to start a business, if they want to just have self-care, self-love, whatever it is, because we're on that wheel, that rat race wheel, and we don't jump off. And we feel like everything is hopeless. So I want to give that niche hope. That's awesome. So talk to us a little bit about some of the, the creation of the systems that you have in place or methodologies that you have in place to help single professional parents manage their responsibilities. That is a good question. So my 90-day coaching program starts off with creating SMART goals that they are simple, manageable, obtainable, realistic, and timely. So once we get whatever goal that that person wants to create, whether it's personal, professional, we break it down into that, that just that simple. It, that's it, smart. And then from there, we go through a process where I hold you accountable to taking the actions to achieve your goals in 90 days. So you can't come to me and tell me, okay, I want to build a million dollar company in three months. I'm going to say, wait a minute, what does that look like? Let's just start by having one product, make that product, scale it down, make it obtainable, make it timely. And then every week we have a conversation about that. And then we list out what your goals are, what the actions you're going to take daily. Then we have a check-in call to make sure those actions are being taken. And then in six weeks, we actually look at, okay, what have you done? What have you accomplished? I acknowledge the accomplishments because we have to acknowledge the wins all along because then we get in our head and like, I didn't do anything. This was a waste yeah. of time. And we, that internal dialogue just kicks in. So we have to stop the internal dialogue and acknowledge the wins. And then you decide, do you want to continue on? From the actions I've taken, I realize I need to do this or I need to do more of that. And we ebb and flow. And that's the 90-day program in essence. Hey, that is so powerful. And I can see it now, right? As someone who also guides people along the set, the pathway of pre preparing and developing smart goals, it is so needed. You know, sometimes when, especially the jump into entrepreneurship, when you're working with professionals, I, I oftentimes recommend people read the book, the E-Myth by Michael Gerber, he talks about the entrepreneurial seizure. Uh, most of us are tired of doing it for the man or the woman, and we want to do it for ourselves. And they're like, oh, I'm going to build that million dollar company in 90 days. And it's like, whoa, you got to understand in order to build a viable business, it's a system, the systems and the processes. And you may be really good at that one thing, you know, you know, maybe it is serving the client but understanding the finance, understanding the people management or the processes, that's a whole nother area. So definitely having, <laughs> having someone like yourself as, as a sage, a mentor, a co-pilot to go alongside them is so powerful and much needed. Can you talk to us a little bit about, when you talk about, you know, uh, professional and personal development what are what does that mean because a lot of people hear these buzz, buzzwords and what does personal development mean in your opinion so for me personal development means that I am taking a look at myself self-awareness introspection asking myself where am I at where am I coming from where am I at where do I want to be how do I develop the transition and the leadership to get to where I want. Because like you said, you could have a really good idea, but that's it. That's as far as it goes. And when you start getting in there, you got, I need a business plan, a business plan. I need social media, social media. You got to train and develop yourself personally to know what it is that you want 
inside of that brand, then develop yourself and then put it out there to the world so you can succinctly talk about it. And that to me is what personal growth, because there's, you tell me, you know, there's growth in there. A whole, like I had to do a social media post. Yes. Like I used to hold the camera down by down here, up my nose, everyone's <laughs> like where it was. So you have to develop and train myself to do that. Right. So it, it, it's, all about the mindset and the will and the wherewithal that you have to be able to be open to new things to develop.